Hey guys, what's up? What is up? It is, what is today? You know, in the Philippines, it's hard to keep track of the days. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday. So I wanna get your opinion. I wanna get you guys' opinion on something before I start the uh, video. Uh, I wanna get your opinion on something. So I thought, I thought we had ducks, but somebody told me these are geese. And I think, I think they're right. Anyways, can somebody tell me, are these geese or ducks? I'm starting to think they might be geese, but they don't fly at all. And there's actually a baby. Where's your babies? Oh, I'm missing, she's in there. Anyways, reason why I'm making this video today is I wanted to check the progress of the kitchen that we're making so let's go see I see my in-laws are working let's walk outside first I kind of slept in today and they've been up all morning working on the uh, kitchen so you see since the other day since the last video the roof is on the walls are done let's see what we got there's the roof and my father-in-law is working on some bricks Good morning. Right, yeah. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> He's added some bricks there. And that whole section of bricks there. We're going to see what the inside looks like. This won't be a very long video. It's my motorcycle, my karaoke machine. So I, I went downtown the other day and I bought my father-in-law all new tools for the uh, construction. I wanna show you something. So this was his hammer. This is a piece of pipe welded, <laughs> welded to the head of an old hammer and I bought him I bought him this this is the local brand Inco this is a uh, fiberglass hammer even got a nail holder got him that and this was his saw he was using to cut everything you can see it's pretty old it's pretty worn out so I got him this brand new saw in code and I got him some other tools the uh, trowels and I just pretty much bought everything they had one of each I wasn't even sure what this stuff was for my brother said that this is for doing tile. So we are gonna do some tile work, so. And there's the uh, other one. And I did get him a new pair of uh, cutters and pliers, but they're they're not out here at the moment. There's the old ones, that got some rubber hoses on them. We got a new cordless drill and, you know, some other tools. But 
You know what they say, happy father-in-law, happy wife, happy life. So that's what it looks like from in here. This is the new ceiling. You can see all the wood that we cut the other day and made from the lumber. It's all brand new. And if you've seen the last video, you saw that we went and looked at uh, sinks. And we did get the sink that I wanted. The double sink, deep double sink with the, uh, I don't know what you'd call these, but that's where you'd put your dishes and they would drip dry, drip into the sink, I guess. I'm not an expert on doing dishes. And we got a spigot. Now, there's no hot water almost everywhere in the Philippines, so they just have the uh, one line coming in. It's just a uh, cold water line. It's usually like luke, lukewarm. Uh, the sink actually came with the drains and the plumbing, which is good. That saved us some money. Let's see. This is the new type of, uh, uh, what do they call that? The uh, trap. And then we got this thing for doing finishing and this one you can see the prices here 150 pesos you're looking at you know under three dollars which is just i mean where are you going to get something like this in the u.s for under three dollars this, this thing would probably cost you like 10 bucks and even this 130 pesos you're looking at like two dollars and fifty cents less Less than polyurethane. Um, so this this spigot here, seven forty five pesos, which would be about fourteen less than fourteen dollars for a Bremen zinc alloy. I mean that's that's cheap, I think. And then the sink was 3200 which you're looking at about 60 About 60 bucks. Where are you going to get a sink? 60 bucks. Really? You know how much that would cost in the U.S.? Actually, I'm not sure. But let's look it up and we'll put the price right here. From Home Depot and Lowe's. We'll check it out. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a little update on the progress. This will be uh, video two in the kitchen build uh, series. We'll see how it all turns out. Uh, and I was curious about the duck geese situation. <laughs> Don't know what those are. But they do not fly, and the turkeys don't fly either. Just give you a little bonus footage here. Let's take a look. Anytime those... Oh, there's the babies. See the babies? I'll be damned if the babies don't look like uh, ducks, but I don't know. And there's a big turkey, old Tom. Tom, hey Tom, Tom, Tom. He's not talking to me today. Being kind of quiet. You hear the rooster? Tommy the rooster, he likes to crow at one o'clock in the morning, little bastard, wakes me up. Uh, I want to show you something. It's mango season. What is that? Oh, that's a. What is that? That's an ant nest, I think. But anyways, there's mangoes.
Mangoes are finally growing. Lots of them. See all the mangoes. Tons of mangoes in the mango trees. We got lots of mango trees. And those big trees down there, those are mangoes. A huge tree in the corner of our property. That's a mango tree. There's the Geely Cool Ray, my favorite car. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you something else. So we got a, we had to get a new AC. The other AC quit, uh, quit working. It was a year old, but it was a cheap, very cheap AC. One horsepower, I uh, forget the name of it. So we bought a Boston Bay. We got it from City Hardware. This thing was pretty expensive. Uh, this is a, you feel the heat coming out of there? This is a one horsepower, but it is huge. And it was 460 US dollars. So very expensive for a, uh, for an AC. But, all right guys, well, hope you enjoy the video. Peace.